revolution is never going to be easy. There will always be conflict. There's nothing wrong with this. That's what democracy is about. I'm not going to reply to you point by point. Life's too short, but please, this is what you're supposed to be talking about symbols. I'd, I'd like to see something about symbols, which is relevant to what I've been talking about. First of all, symbols are universal. There are symbols all around us. <coughs> symbols will always be challenged. If they're not, they become veiled and it's very difficult to understand that there are alternatives. Politics is partly about the contest for symbols. I see nothing reprehensible in this. Um, think about where we are. There's a crucifix. That's a very Catholic, but to some extent orthodox symbol. The cross is universally Catholic, is universally, universally Christian. It's, we, we do we look at it, we don't look at it, but this tells us that this is a Christian space. Do you all know what the lily symbolizes? The lily symbolizes purity. Um, I did do quite a lot of iconography at one time. In my life. Still entranced by it. Renaissance painting. So, what I'm suggesting, I mean, the layout of, of this, the layout of every Catholic and even more Protestant church is, is about the control of space. Contrast it with a mosque, it's completely different. There's one big space and people wander about, or indeed a synagogue. Um, in in West, Western Christianity is different from Eastern Christianity. Have any of you ever been to an Orthodox service? Fascinating. There's the iconostasis, which is the hidden world, uh, the world of God. There is space in front of it. People wander about, uh, they cry, they pray, they kiss the icons. None of the order that we expect in Western Christianity. Protestant churches are even more strict than Catholic ones of how they control space. Uh, I think the Calvinists are more strict than... I'm a Lutheran, so we come in between. Um, we do control space, but we allow a certain amount of money. You don't get up in the middle of a service and wander about very good. So what I'm suggesting to you is that wherever we are, there are symbolic values. And this is, this is the normal way of the world. We all endow part of our experience with symbolic sense, with symbolic resonance. Uh, and anybody who wants to read further in this, do read some cultural semiotics. Let me stop there. I've talked about it. So thank you for your attention.